Hello, I'm really excited to be a part of this virtual convention and I'm looking forward to catching up with you later. I'd like to share with you three of my poems. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Sarah. I write as S.M. Jenkin and uh, the three poems I'm going to share with you are either inspired by Wales or by The Prisoner or by Spring. There's three poems, so that kind of covers it really. One of them is about Inverle Lodge, the other one is about Spring, and the other one is about uh, Rhiannon um, in Welsh mythology. I hope you enjoy it, and I will be seeing you later. Hello folks, uh, nice to see you at the convention. I've got a couple of poems that I'd like to share with you. The first one is called Inverle Lodge. And as you will know, uh, George Mark Stein was inspired by this place in Scotland. And it was placed during World War II where members of the Special Operations Executive, the ones who couldn't be left running around, were kept hidden away. So it's going to be in a collection that's going to be released at some point, whenever. I hope you enjoy it. Here we are. Sit back, relax. At the laced edges of the loch, they watch without watching. Curtains discarded after dusk, lace net twitching and waiting for the pooled dark to gather. Glen Span, the place for the professionally retired gentleman spy, where even the midges shy away. Careless talk costs lives. Careless whispers trawled into a throw mesh, weighted with single malt, single women, or men as the preference, now that they could no longer be professionally embarrassed. Surely they knew that their tongues were mashed barley left to ferment. Heady stuff, their words and stories, whispered in firelight, intoxicating enough to reweave their torn covers torn egos. They are wildcats, becoming too comforted by the regular feed times, best salmon, smokes and tangled bags of finest silks, and Penelope each night unweaves it so skillfully no one dare speak of the work undone. The next morning and the next morning the blacked out words on pages received months later, if at all. And instructors repeat over and over the impossibility of knowing too much. There is yet more training to complete, always more. The same fouled bogland to bridge or wire, then unfurl the rusted lines. Repeat. Repeat. The next poem I'm going to read is inspired by Welsh mythology, specifically Rhiannon. And she's a very interesting character, so if you want to look her up, she's got quite the story. So this one is called Rhiannon's Song. Only after the soft, milky summer's sat greens have burned away can the silver branch be easier found. Bells tumble beneath the sharp, cold grasp of three silent blackbirds. Rhiannon songsters, scattering waves of sound across cracked, salted soil. Rhiannon's three sent out for midwinter's close have three songs to hold in the emptiness, with echoes clear to hold the space. As if in a dream, the first and boldest of the three begins to sing into the duck egg sky. Round puffs of white clouded soft notes tenderly brush and wind around wool wrapped bellies, thighs, chest wet with the tenderness of wolves' tongues, lapping against the place where your heart jumps and finally stretches out the lullaby between rests. And in the dream, the second blackbird takes up the higher place. 
spreads out shadowed wings and looks within. The space, bubble call seeping out between tear-scratched lips, echoes it and something else. The edges dripping into cascade that sigh across crooked roofs, cracked tarmac brushing against slick evergreen holly shards, sharing night breath with your lungs. The third blackbird opens her small golden beak. The bells beneath her claws catch the retreating sun's light. Glisten. Her tinseled song of the small joys that can be found beneath desiccating copper leaves, nesting for next spring's new green furled beginnings. Listen, what can you hear? Hello, for my final poem, it's from my collection Fire in the Head, and it's called Only Fall inspired both by the lovely spring weather and the prisoner, where he says in Once Upon a Time, I'm a fool, not a rat. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. It is the fool who curls up into the shifting mulchy tides. Don't you know that you are sleeping above a deadline? It is the fool who curls up into the ticking path of the colonel. Don't you know that you are about to explode into a blossom? It is the fool who curls up after the blossoming. Don't you know that you are what we have been waiting for? <laughs>